Hi, good morning everybody. I hope you are all well. Uh, sorry for not posting this uh, video earlier, but we had such a fantastic weather. Um, I spend most of my day in, in the garden. So here we are, second project, and I've decided to go for a self-portrait. All right, okay, so here is a portrait of myself I did about a year and a half ago, and here is another one I'm working on. Uh, but before we go into the self-portrait itself, um, I'm going to show you some examples of famous artists uh, who did their own portrait. The first one I want to show you is very famous. Uh, he lives 400 years ago and it's called Rembrandt. He was a Dutch painter, very famous in his lifetime. So here it is, he's 24 years old, it's one of his first portrait. Um, it's called a self-portrait with a beret with wide eye, okay? Uh, in his, uh, during his lifetime, he apparently um, uh, has done uh, about 100 self-portraits, okay? So here's one, and here is another one uh, toward the end of his life, okay? Uh, this one is called uh, self-portrait with two circles, because you've got one here and another one over there. Um, his motivation to do self-portraits was, I suppose, um, to show people how good he was. So uh, people would commission him to do their own portrait. Uh, but also he was such, uh, he was uh, so famous during his lifetime, people would buy his self-portraits. Like a little bit us um, uh, buying a poster of, our fa uh, of a famous singer or a, fa a singer we like and, and put it on, put it, uh, uh, putting it on, on the wall. Okay, so here is another one. Um, I'm going to show you an, another uh, very famous uh, uh, painter. He was also Dutch, uh, Vincent van Gogh. Um, so unlike Rembrandt, he was uh, totally poor. He didn't have any money. He couldn't pay a model to uh, pose for him and do his self portrait. So he did uh, his own self portrait. Um, it was a way to, you know, use his technique and, and get better at, at painting. Um, he did apparently 36 uh, self-portraits over a period of 10 years. And on this one, he's actually 36 years old. Okay, so that's another uh, painter. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, she is a Mexican um, artist, Frida Kahlo. So Frida Kahlo um, had another motivation um, uh, to do um, to, to paint her, a picture. Um, when she was, she has a tough life. When she was six years old, she um, uh, had poliomyelitis. So poliomyelitis is a disease that affects your legs and they don't grow. Um, she, there is a vaccine, thank God for that now, um, but she, she had that. And then when she was 15 years old, she had a, a, a terrible accident, which, um, uh, and, and, and because of that, she had to have complex um, operation to make to make it better so she was uh, in a bed most of the time uh, to recover from um, the surgery she had so for her to do a self-portrait was um, a way to communicate with the viewer with us um, her, her mental and physical suffering uh, what is interesting in Frida Kahlo's uh, self-portrait is what she put behind a picture. Um, so, for example, on this two one here, she put a bird and a, um, a butterfly and uh, two animals that can fly. So maybe what she wants to communicate to us is that instead of being in a bed, knowing uh, in pain, not being able to move, uh, she wish she would be one of those animals, you know, um, able to fly and, and, and move around and travel, all right? Um, so she did in her lifetime uh, 143 paintings and half of them, or, or, or uh, no, not so much, but 55 of them were self-portrait, all right? So that's another artist. 
um, and I'm going to show you two more, okay? Um, the other one is, again, very famous. Uh, he was Spanish, Pablo Picasso. So Pablo Picasso, his motivation to do self-portrait, uh, obviously at the very beginning when he's a young man, to show his technique and how good he is at, at, at drawing. But I think as he grew older and, and, and uh, Picasso was very interesting as a painter because he changed his style. He was always looking for a new style, a new way of painting. So I think his self-portrait reflects all the style he went through as an artist. So here he is um, when he was, I think, 15. Um, here he is when he was 35. Uh, P Picasso, so yeah, and what he was looking into his picture is the reduction of line. Try to do something, try to, to show a, a picture without too many lines, but still have the essence of, of what he was drawing. So here he is. And the last one, when he was 90 years old, he was still painting. And here is another one of him. Okay? So here he it is. I'm going to put them here. And I'm going to put maybe the line drawing as well on the board. Here. Lovely. And the last one, uh, we talked about him uh, already in the first video, uh, Andy Warhol. Uh, Andy Warhol, um, he did a self-portrait, but more toward the end of his life, okay? Uh, and instead of drawing like all these other artists, he would uh, use uh, pictures. And that's what I want us to do for our self-portrait uh, today. So, pictures and he would use a technique called um, a seal screening. So it's a, a technique that allows you to draw a picture over and over and over and change the, the, the color of the paint as you go along. So here is his self-portrait and he would do, you see, the same portrait, but in a different colors, okay? Um, and here you've got, it's very famous for series like that so it's again it's himself with a different type of background okay all right so i'm going to put this one in on the board okay so so here we are um so what i want you to do now is uh grab your phone or a camera okay and start taking selfie of yourself okay so me, I have already done that, okay? So here is uh, uh, looking at the camera um, with my hair up. Um, you've got uh, another one. I've done another one with my glasses on. I've got another one with a three quarter uh, looking away from the camera uh, and so on and so forth, okay? I want you to come up with um, different selfie choose the one you like the most um, uh, if you want to do your hair for example you want to draw your hair uh, choose a profile so you've got you can experiment with your hair over there um, and sh you know and and print it and 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 um, and then we're going to to start um, doing our own self-portrait okay so see you in a minute um, you need obviously a printed um, um, picture of your selfie and um, the oil pastel and a pencil. All right, see you in a minute. All right, okay, so next stage, okay. Uh, so by now you must have uh, have done a, self um, a selfie of yourself and you must have uh, printed an, on an A4 paper, okay. Um, it doesn't have to be colored, it can be just black and white, it's absolutely fine. So I'm going to go for this one, okay? Um, I want you to grab your um, uh, oil pastel uh, stick. It doesn't have to be black. Black, you know, I'm going to use a black because it shows better on the video, but it can be any colors, all right? Um, so what I want you to do is turn over your paper. So I'm going to grab another one. 
turn over your portrait and obviously I've done it before so uh, but you can pause the video at that stage all right okay and do it um, and I want you to darken the wall area behind your portrait okay um, and all right it's a bit messy you're going to have a black eye black um, fingers <laughs> um, but but that's okay you just clean your hand it, it, it's fine all right so once you've done that you grab an A4 paper so um, if you want to do uh, later on your put color to your um, portrait uh, in watercolor or paint um, try to grab a piece of paper which quite um, a, a bit thicker okay than a normal paper but you can uh, put an other um, A4 paper, normal, it's fine as well. It depends on, on the medium you're going to use later. All right, okay. So you're going to put both paper. So because they are the same size, corner to corner, okay? Make sure it's corner to corner because when, as you might have guessed, we are going to draw the line of your face, okay? And they're going to translate, they're going to leave a mark as we push the crayon um, on the paper, they are going to uh, leave a mark on the white paper. The, the oil pastel is going to transfer onto the white paper, okay? So, but if you move your paper, then you can realign it very easily, corner to corner, and then you can carry on, all right? Okay, so let's do that. And in that process, what I would love you to do is not just draw the line nilly willy. I mean, you know, uh, try to um, engage your brain and say, oh, okay, so my eyes finish here. There is that much distance between my eyes and my eyebrow and so on and so forth. So I analyze your face basically and your lines. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to start with my eyebrow move into the eye, the nose, the mouth, and then the contour of my face. All right? Okay, let's do this. All right, so, and and yes, your crayon, your pencil, use a pencil. Uh, doesn't have to be too sharp because you don't want to pierce your paper. Huh? Um, and, and the good thing with this technique is you can use this picture over and over and over again, providing you put more uh, oil pastel at the back. So like Andy Warhol, you could potentially do six of six copy of the same uh, face and paint them in a different colors. Okay. Um, so yeah. So let's do it. So eyebrow. So all the curve, all the lines. Sorry, that you have got in your face are curves. There's no straight line, no, no, no sharp angle. Only curves. But there's a multiple of them. Okay. Some are shallow, some are, str uh, some are um, a bit deeper than others. Circle, you know, dot, two dot, two black dots um, for the pupil, and so on and so forth, okay? So take your time, go slowly. You don't want to miss any line, and you want to do you want to make them as accurate as you can. Okay, up, all right. Another one here, there, a bit of eyelid there. And if you're not sure which line you've done, you can always pick on the, and then you, you carry on, okay? So yeah, I've done that. So I'm going to go next, I white. Oh, I think I've done the people before, yeah. So all the eyelashes and down here. Oh, this line here, all my wrinkles. Oh. Oh. What else? Okay, I've got more. One more here. All right. So I've done my eyes and my eyebrow. Yeah. So I'm going to move on to my nose. Oh. 
dark a little bit on the nostril up here and because i'm smiling a little bit okay so you've got a crease just under my nose so i'm going to draw that as well up lovely oh my nose is going to be a bit wonky that's okay um when you put colors it'll be fine okay and it's just a demo anyway um so my cheeks here a bit of here as well and as you go along if it's a colored picture even black and white you can see the area where it's darker and the highlights okay when you don't want to put anything you don't you want to to keep the the, the paper white okay uh right okay so the mouse i can move on to the mouse now uh -huh. oh. a bit of a crease between the mouse and the chin all right okay um yes and then my chin here uh, what else? Okay, so I'm ready now to do the contour of my face. So, uh, uh, so it's wider at the top, and as I go down, an egg shape. Um, the face is an egg shape, upside down. Kind of straight on the side and down. Okay, yep. Then I can move on to my... Oh no, let's do the, 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 the neck, okay? So, up, neck here, neck there, my jumper. Alright. Okay, and then we can move into the air, okay? So you can do just the contour if you like, or you can go and draw all, all the, the, your hair, okay? And this exercise, it's a way to achieve, you know, a portrait, but also to familiarize yourself with your, your feature. And then when you want to do a portrait from scratch in graphite, um, you have already, you, you already understand your lines, okay? So it's, it's a good practice. Okay, what else? Oh, the other side, of course. But after you've done this one, I would love you to try and have a go with just pencil, a rubber, blank page, look at your picture and, and draw it, okay? Without any kind of um, what I call a scaffolding. But it's a nice technique. Huh? And uh, yeah, why not? I like that. Okay, it's very effective. All right, so I think I've got everything. Yeah, I've got more or less everything. So you can take that. So as I said, you can make multiple of them. So prior to um, doing this video, I've made several of them. And, um, and now it's just a question of... So you can, like Candy Wall, do exactly the same picture over and over with different colors. Um, uh, or like Frida Kahlo, you can paint your, your, your picture and put a background you like that um, uh, kind of uh, explain who you are. For example, if you like flowers or music, okay? And that, if you put notes of music, we'll say, well, she's a musical person. Um, or like Van Gogh, you can put a swirly, you know, depends on your mood. If you feel like uh, uh, tired, you can put a, uh, uh, a sort of a black uh, background with stars. So, makes, you know, maybe it explains that you are a bit sleepy. Or um, 
you know, it, 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 it's, oh, it's, it's your birthday, maybe you did your side prospect during your birthday, so you can put candles, uh, and so on and so forth, okay? So, so it's up to you what message you want to, pour, you, to give to the viewer when you do your self-portrait, okay? Um, so, yeah, and, and, and also it's up to you which medium you want to use in your portrait, okay? So me, for example, prior to this video, I've uh, used watercolor, okay? But you could use, so I've used those, those, these, those watercolor, they are per perfectly fine. I really like the colors they put in. Um, or felted pen, wax crayon, just colored pencil, it's up to you. Uh, what I would just say is please share with them, share them with me, and um, I'd love to see what, um, once you've done this technique, um, what you, you know, um, how it's going to look, uh, the final product, how it's going to look like. Um, what you could do as well is take a picture of your parents, for example, your mom, your father, your sister, brothers, and, and do exactly the same. And then you've got a nice picture to put in the kitchen or, or the lunch. Okay? All right, so have a great day. Have a go. And show me what you've done. All right, bye.